Hi everyone from the Foundry Church. My name is Jeff DeYoung and I'm really glad to be able to spend a little bit of time with you today going through the devotion that we are doing in the weight book which you all have been going through. Um, I'm thankful to be a part of that. Today we're going to read through Genesis 40 and then we'll go through the devotion that that goes along with that. I hope you're all doing well and I want you to know that I pray for all of you even if we don't know each other or know each other that well um, we are still connected and I pray for all of you um, for all of us that we don't just get through this but we can come through this um, seeing God's faithfulness uh, that he can and will and always has brought great good out of suffering whatever that may be and that ties into what we're reading today as well so let's begin with Genesis 40 Sometime after this, the cupbearer of the king of Egypt and his baker offended their lord, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and he put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he waited on them, and they continued for some time in custody. One night they both dreamed, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison each his own dream, and each dream with its own meaning. When Joseph came to them in the morning, he saw that they were troubled. So he asked Pharaoh's officers, who were with him at custody in his master's house, Why are your faces downcast today? They said to him, We have had dreams, and there is no one to interpret them. So Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Please tell them to me. So the chief cupbearer told his dream to Joseph and said to him, in my dream there was a vine before me, and on the vine there were three branches. As soon as, it was, as soon as it budded, its blossoms came out, and the clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Then Joseph said to him, This is its interpretation. The three branches are three days. Within three days Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your office. And you shall place Pharaoh's cup in his hand, just as you used to do when you were his cupbearer. But remember me when it is well with you. Please do me this kindness to make mention of me to Pharaoh, and so get me out of this place. For in fact I was stolen out of the land of the Hebrews, and here also I have done nothing that they should have put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was favorable, he said to Joseph, I also had a dream. There were three cake baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket there were all sorts of baked food for Pharaoh, and the birds were eating it out of the basket on my head. And Joseph answered, This is its interpretation. The three baskets are three days. Within three days Pharaoh will lift up your head from you and hang you on a pole, and the birds will eat the flesh from you. On the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast for all his servants, and lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer and the head of the chief baker among his servants. He restored the chief cupbearer to his cupbearing, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. But the chief baker he hanged just as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. Joseph had been given dreams, prophecies, by God. And it seemed that having those dreams started a whole series of trials for him. He was hated by his brothers, who ended up selling him into slavery, then falsely accused of an indecency and thrown into prison. And now Joseph was forgotten by the cupbearer and remained in prison. But he was never alone. God never forgot about Joseph. In fact, in the midst of Joseph's trials... The Lord was with him and showed him mercy. Chapter 39, verse 21. It wasn't that God gave him a promise in the beginning and met up with him much later to bring it about. Rather, we see in Scripture that the Lord was with him in the pit that his brothers threw him into, with him as he was hauled off to be a slave, with him as he was falsely accused and imprisoned, and with him when he was forgotten by others. As you continue reading the story of Joseph, you will see that all of this was leading to the fulfillment of God's promise to Joseph. God was making it happen, but Joseph had to live it 
by trusting in God. It is the very presence of God in the midst of our struggles, pain, suffering, whatever it might be, that transforms those trials into the very means by which He transforms us and brings about everything that He has promised. If or when you face any struggle, don't despair. Try a simple, quiet prayer to God. Be with me and show me mercy. God bless you all.